All right, story time. All right, I got started. Um, well, if we want to take it really far back, uh, it's going to be the same story. Uh, it was 99% of uh, lawn barrows. Um, you know, neighborhood kid um, started mowing my parents' lawn at a very young age. I don't know how old. Um, my dad had a craftsman, green craftsman um, riding mower that was like bulletproof. It just never died. Uh, unfortunately that's, it's gone, but I wish I would have kept that cause that, you know, talk about sentimental. That was, that was really cool. Um, but yeah, just did, um, my parents lawn, then, you know, older lady across the street, um, would ask from time to time, um, if I could do her lawn, um, guy next to her, um, took very good care of his own lawn, but he had property upstate and he would leave for months at a time and he would pay me to do his lawn. So it just kind of snowballed. Um, and then that was all like local, basically across the street, uh, on the block, on the same block. Um, and then when I got older, uh, when I was like high school, college, um, my girlfriend, who's my wife now, um, so my father-in-law, he um, basically asked me, you know, I'll pay you to do the lawn, but I'm done doing it. Uh, and I don't want to pay any, I'd rather pay you to do it than pay somebody else to do it is essentially what he said. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I love that stuff. So, um, you know, I didn't have my own mower, but I basically drove to their house and I used their mower. Um, I did ha buy my own at that point. I had my own like commercial bl backpack blower. Um, I think I had my own, maybe I didn't have my own week at we week. I don't know. I don't remember, but I had like a few things, but obviously, but not the big things to do it, but, um, did that. Then, <laughs> then it was like the same thing as years ago. So then people would see me there and ask, you know, um, would you do mine? Would you do mine? I'm like, oh, it's not really my mower, uh, you know, um, but, um, it was cool. Um, ended up, you know, doing a few of those here. Um, then COVID hit. So I have just background. I have, I don't want to get into detail about my job, uh, my quote unquote real job. Um, but I have a government pension job and I, um, I do this, I, I get out early enough in there where I can do quite a few loans after work. Um, but let me rewind a little bit. COVID happened. Um, like most people, shifted to remote. Um, and like most people, it seemed like my workload decreased dramatically when I went remote. Um, or I just had that much more free time because I wasn't commuting or, you know, a combination of both was whatever. Um, and I had a buddy from work who's like, oh, you do landscaping and stuff, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, oh, my buddy's, um, moving up by my parents' house. Um, at the time he's like, oh, he's moving into that neighborhood. They're built, they were actually building a new house, um, the house was pretty much all done, uh, but it needed landscaping. So it didn't have a lawn, didn't have a, didn't have any, anything. Um, it was all rough. It just had, when I got there, they had just put a driveway in. Um, but that's, that's it. So, um, you know, and he, this guy, it was a huge house, um, you know, big money build and he wanted, a crazy amount of landscaping. And so it wasn't just throwing grass seed down and plopping in a few plants. No, it was, um, I should go, I should have the invoice on me, but it was about 20 grand worth of work. And he started explaining all this stuff to me. And luckily this was when everything was shut down and New York being the state that it is, uh, needs to have control over it, over everything. And they were even shutting down specifically landscapers. So we weren't supposed to work. Um, 
And, you know, I I'm decided at that point to get my feet wet in this. And basically he asked me if I could do all this. And I said, yes. Um, which, had I done any of that before? No. Um, but through YouTube and uh, a lot of research, I figured out what the pros were charging. Uh, I took a few cents off the top to make myself look more appealing, uh, especially because I didn't have the experience, but I didn't let anybody know that. And um, agreed, we put in uh, 20 arbor variety trees, a uh, big, I forget what it was. It was uh, uh, a tree in the front yard. Um, we did multiple garden beds. They had, um, the house was built with, um, well, it was kind of built into a hillside. So they had like retaining walls on the side of the house that they wanted uh there was multiple elevations of retaining walls that they um wanted uh they were obsessed with rock so he didn't want mulch he didn't want uh, he wanted rock but he wanted big rock and um we did more with the bigger i forget the exact how big the rocks were but they weren't huge but they were bigger than gravel um, you know, this was all 2020. Um, so what I, it was just, it was a lot of work. I ended up renting machines and, um, asking a buddy who had an ATV for, you know, to borrow that and do all this crazy thing, which I'll show some of the videos, um, to it later when I post them. Um, but it was me um, and another guy who tackled all this work. And basically, I knew that a professional business would have had this done a lot faster. But I used COVID and, not, uh, and that as the excuse, well, hey, we're really not supposed to be working. So we can't bring in crazy machinery and stuff. We don't have to do this s l slower so we kind of lay low back here. Um, you know, cause they're cracking down and they were actually cracking down. None of that was really a lie, but I, um, at the same point, I definitely was able to use that to my advantage. And I took that, um, the 20 K that job was and, um, invested it into lawn care business, bought a trailer, bought a mower, bought, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and from there kind of hit the ground running, um, picked up some clients, um, you know, I can make a whole video on like the home advisor Angie's list. Um, but I started that route. I think a lot of guys start the route. I would, I'm not gonna, I think that's a good place to start as long as you know how to use it. Um, a lot of people, that's a, that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time. Um, but that got me a lot of work. And, um, you know, when you're, when you're new in business, that, that stuff kind of helps. And I, I think the first year or two use it and then you can, then you can lose it. Um, but, um, but that's how I got, that's how I got going. And it's, um, it's been going ever since. Um, and that's, that's about it. Um, you know, from there. Uh, take on probably one big project a year. Um, and then it's just all property maintenance, the, you know, and whatever, from, from whatever those customers, you know, if they want, you know, oh, I want these bushes taken out. I wanted, you know, new this going in. Um, you know, we got it. Um, the fall leaves. Uh, winter snow um deal with it uh plow it uh, spring mulch that kind of stuff and then you know the occasional um we want this this and this cleared out all the way um if i have the time i'll do it um but um, I've got to the place where I'm fortunate enough now where I can just pick and choose what I want to do and that's it.